This is the iFootage Gazelle TA3B, a super portable travel tripod that is smaller, lighter, more versatile, and cheaper than my $400 Manfrotto setup. So in this video, we'll talk about some of its features, pros and cons, some of its creative uses, and who should consider buying. Let's go. So this is my Manfrotto tripod. It's a great medium range fluid head tripod, which means you get really smooth pans and tilts, which is pretty essential for video work. However, when I picked mine up several years ago, I couldn't help but think maybe this was a tad bit overkill for most mirrorless setups. So when iFootage reached out with their brand new series of travel tripods, my interest was piqued, but I wondered if it could truly replace my much more heavy and much more expensive fluid head tripod. This tripod comes in two different flavors. There is an aluminum and a carbon fiber version. Both yield the same amount of payload, but the difference being is that the carbon fiber is a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter, and with that, it is slightly more expensive. One thing that I always enjoy about iFootage products is the build quality. And with this, about everything that you can touch on this tripod is metal. So all the knobs are very secure, lock very easily. And man, I am in love with this fluid head. It is not only so tiny, but when you do need to do a pan, I was shocked by how smooth the results really were. And the thing is so tiny. Now for most tripods, when you go out on a shoot and you need to make sure that your level is set correctly, you have to go around each leg, pop it open, level it, lock it in, maybe do that a couple of times for each leg until you get the perfect level. But what I love about this is that this has a bowl mount. So what that means is I can unlock this little red lever right here, level off my camera from one adjustment using that little mini bubble level provided nicely on top, lock it in, and I'm good to go. Makes it so quick, so easy, and you have the benefits of having both the quick leveling of the bowl mount and the nice fluid head for those pans and tilts. One thing I really like about this tripod is its ability to get really low down to the ground. So by popping open these red tabs, you can extend the legs way out, overall lowering the camera straight to the ground, which it sits right around seven inches, which is perfect and almost doubles as a mini hi-hat for those extremely low angle shots. One thing you may not have noticed with this tripod is right below the fluid head is this little hook. And this is a great little safety feature. Let's say you're out on location, it's pretty windy, and you wanna make sure this thing is really solid. You can take your camera backpack and hook it onto the tripod, so that way it acts as a sandbag weighing down your overall tripod setup, making sure it doesn't blow over in the wind. Turning our attention to the bottom of the tripod, we have these rubber feet, which actually can be popped off to reveal metal spikes. So if you are in different terrain and whatnot, then those will provide you that extra bit of stability there. So touching on the versatility of this tripod, like I mentioned before, it can get really low down to the ground, but with the aluminum version, you can actually extend this whole tripod about to 59 inches. For me, that reaches just a little bit below shoulder height, so it's not the tallest tripod in the world. However, I think for being a travel tripod, I am okay with this. You know, I would certainly take an extra foot or so, so I had that flexibility, but you know, a take which you can get. So just definitely keep that in mind if you are considering that option. Along the side of the tripod is a quarter 20 mount, which I think is super neat. That means you can take things like a friction arm and mount it to the side, lock it in, and you can have accessories like your phone, a monitor, a battery, whatever you need off to the side, which I think is just super cool and adds to the versatility of this tiny little tripod. Now this fluid head takes Arca Swiss style quick release plates. So it is very quick and easy just to pop one in. And if you have a bunch of Arca Swiss plates already, you're already in good shape. And yeah, you can just mount it, make sure you level off the camera and you are good to go. And look at that, a tiny little fluid head. It looks, it looks kind of silly on this thing, but it works so well. Now there's one feature on this tripod that I didn't expect to find myself using so much. And it's actually super cool. And that is when you unlock the tilt of this fluid head, you can actually tilt it 90 degrees down, which means that you can do some over the head tabletop tripod stuff. For me, I do a lot of product B-roll, and so I could take this tripod, set it on top of my white tabletop tripod, point it straight down so I have a 90 degree face down view, and I can hold my different products up to the camera. And I found that if I put the lens at 
50 millimeters, I can actually avoid the legs completely. And then you can adjust the different heights for what you want if you want a little bit wider angle. But that feature is just so nice because the only other way if you want a direct down angle is to use something like a C stand or lean your tripod up against it, which is never like super secure. So this little thing is just so nice. And again, I love when things can serve dual purposes. So for this being a hi hat, a little overhead setup, being a travel tripod, a tiny fluid head that's so smooth, is just so nice to have all these things in one package. Now here in Florida, it can be sunny one moment and it can be rainy the next. And as a filmmaker, I gotta be ready for all those different conditions, which is why I'm excited to share today's sponsor, Vessi. Vessi's footwear is a dream for any filmmaker. Not only they're stylish, but also they're super comfortable, they're easy to slip on, and the best part is, is that they are 100% waterproof which is thanks to Vessi's awesome Diametex layer that ensures your feet stay completely dry while allowing them to breathe. But Vessi's expertise extends beyond just footwear. Their waterproof jackets are fantastic, especially during long shoots. The combination of soft inner linings and secure zippers not only means I stay cozy, but also ensures that the gear on me is safe and sound. So if you're out here making films or just someone who likes to be ready for any weather, then use the link in the description to check out Vessi. And remember, with Vessi's on your feet, you won't find yourself feeling depressy. Now back into the video. That was bad. All right, so we talked a lot about the pros of this tripod, but what are its cons? The first being is the metal clasps on the tripod legs. When you go to actually set the height and you lock it in, it doesn't really have a satisfying click to them. Unlike their monopods, it feels super secure. On this tripod, it feels like it kind of mushes into place and you second guess whether it is actually fully locked in. Now, I don't want to overhype the situation because once you do lock it in, it is secure and there's no slipping or anything like that, but I do wish it was more like their monopods, which is just built extremely well. Another con I found when using this tripod are these red tabs. So when you go to lower their camera tripod height all the way down to the ground, you have to lift up this tab, pull out the leg, and then sit it back down. This is a little bit different from my Manfrotto tripod, which basically you pull it down, you lift it up, lock it into place. It's one kind of smooth movement. This, it was kind of a little bit finicky. I wasn't sure what exactly I would do. That is a minor complaint in the grand scheme of things, but it doesn't feel as intuitive as my Manfrotto. This next con is a little bit concerning if you plan to remove the built-in tripod handle. So with the included little key that they give you, you can remove these two screws to remove this tripod handle. However, I have heard that the build quality of these screws are not the best and actually strip fairly easily, which means that once those screws are stripped, there's no way of removing this tripod handle and it's stuck on there. So I recommend that they actually find a different way of including this tripod handle. If it was one screw like on my Manfrotto, you can just kind of rotate this handle on and off, take it off fairly easily. If there was something like that on this, I think it would be even more quicker to use, even more versatile in case you were needing to pack it down into a small suitcase. So that would be one upgrade I would look for, and maybe that's just an improvement on the fluid head itself. In comparison to my much more heavy and expensive Manfrotto tripod, I think this tripod is just as capable, if not more so due to its lightweight form factor and some of its a little additional features that allow you to use this in more creative ways. And sure, it's not gonna hold the same amount of weight as my Manfrotto tripod. For instance, I could put a cinema camera on there and it'd handle it just fine. For this, you know, I am using smaller, lighter cameras and I want to have the ability to just take it with me on the go and have that flexibility of if I do need a super low angle or if I do want to tilt down, I have that flexibility. So that brings us to the question of who should buy this tripod? Well, I think if you're a beginner filmmaker looking for your first tripod and you don't wanna buy junk, I think this is a solid investment that you can use for a long time or if you decide to upgrade, use this as your backup tripod. I think it's so capable. And if you are a travel filmmaker or someone who needs to have a lightweight setup that is just as capable as those higher end tripods, I think this is a great deal as well. However, I think there is one person that shouldn't buy this tripod, and that would be is if you are doing wedding videography. This tripod does not get high enough for those needs. A lot of times you do need to be higher up to kind of shoot past people standing up and whatnot. So I don't think this would crack the case unless you know that height level and you're willing to work with that. 
For the price point of $169, I think you'd be really challenged to find anything that is this capable at this price range. Solid build quality, this amazing fluid head that is comes with it is just amazing. And this would definitely be my recommendation to those who are getting started or maybe just need a convenient travel tripod like I do. If you are a filmmaker and you're looking for the best advice, a little bit of filmmaking motivation, I've actually compiled a list of famous film directors giving their best filmmaking advice in this 30 minute long compilation. So go ahead and check it out there and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.